<laughs> that frame right. Day one. Hi, I'm Toby. Uh, I'm production manager here at XR Games, and I've been here for just like coming up to two years now. My role here with XR Games is production manager. So for those who don't know, uh, production is kind of like a, a planning, project management type of role. It's a supporting role, basically. We're not there building any one part of the game, but our, our key role is to be able to support the whole development team per project. I think to me, XR Futures is, as a studio, our opportunity we give to people who have not developed games before to come and see actually developing games is interesting for them if they think it's a lifestyle they want to get involved with. Because regardless of what discipline you're in, code, design, art, animation, if you've not had a chance to do it professionally, you might not know if it's for you. And also, you might not realize how broad this industry is. You might come in thinking, oh, you know, I might maybe want to be a programmer, but discover actually design is really your calling or production is your calling. And so XR Futures is our way to let people who have never had a chance to make games before have a go and see if actually this does suit them and they want to be part of the industry. I think XR Futures really has value because I think as a lot of professionals who have entered the industry are bound, taking that first step from amateur game developer or someone who's done a course on game development in university to first professional job is a really challenging one. It's really competitive out there and it's quite difficult to get your foot in the door. So XR Futures opens that door a bit wider, I suppose, and allows people who are amateur to have a chance at getting into the industry. So if you're looking to get into the games industry, I think the, the really important thing you can do is just try making games. There's so many different free online packages you can use these days, whether it's industry tools like Unity and Unreal, whether it's getting stuff like Blender or GIMP for 3D and 2D art. There's so many different software out there that's accessible to you as a, as a brand new starter that you can use to just start trying to make games. Yeah, there, 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 there. Bloody hell. <laughs>